Hi, I'm making this video. I lost my entire reaction recording. Um, the software I'm using to to record my audios doesn't work when I'm watching videos. So, haha. Um, kill me now. I had an entire, like, autism out thing. Uh, I, I just saw the new Pikmin trailers and the announcement for the HD releases of the first two games. Um, hopefully all for the Switch. Uh, I have the second game, um, for the Wii. Haven't been able to get my Wii working, so I can't wait to play these two games. And I hope they, uh, fix the bugs, but don't really change much. Um. Um. But, like, there is this new character in the Pikmin 4 game that we haven't seen before that just looks like a hairy version of Ollieman. Um, I want to put the trailer on a screen now to, like, show you all everything I'm talking about. Welcome to the Rescue Corps. As its newest recruit, you'll venture to a mysterious planet with all sorts of life forms. There, you'll meet plant-like creatures called Pikmin. And the adorable rescue pup, Ochi. Good boy. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged Rescue Corps spaceship and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore together. Once plucked, Pikmin are ready for action. Blow your whistle to gather them and have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things and they'll start working for you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. He can carry items with Pikmin or smash obstacles in your way. And if you need a flotation device, well, there you go. Ochi can even stand up to the wildest creatures. Collect lots of treasures scattered around the planet to fix the spaceship's radar and open up new areas to explore. Exploration isn't limited to the surface, though. Why not take the plunge underground? Here, a completely different environment awaits. Unusual contraptions. Native creatures. And even more treasures are around every corner. You might unexpectedly find some castaways, too. Hey, wait a minute. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. It's time for a Dandori battle. Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent within the time limit to win and save the castaway. By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. Or build new equipment and items to help make exploration more manageable. For the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. But there's a catch. Nightfall sends creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Thankfully, you'll come across the new Glow Pikmin, which only appear at night. Find luminols that produce valuable glow sap. These mounds also attract various wildlife, so use Glow Pikmin to drive them away and protect the luminols. Many more surprises await on this uncharted planet. But with the Pikmin and Ochi by your side, no challenge is too big or too small. 
Pikmin 4. In past Pikmin games, you had to return to your spaceship before sundown. However, in this latest entry, you can now venture out at night. We hope you can lead the Pikmin on your expedition. We have even more Pikmin news to share. HD versions of the first two Pikmin games originally released on Nintendo GameCube will launch on Nintendo eShop later today. Plus, ahead of the game's release, a demo of Pikmin. As you saw from the trailer, there's a lot to dissect. Um, again, Green Ochi and Ollie Men, but also there's a new character. Um, I, I, I still think that the, that the Rescue Corps will be customizable. At least just a little bit. Um, I'm going to be making so many Louis just to torment Olimar because that's funny. Um, I am so excited. Pikmin fans are eating good this year. We're eating good this year. Um, the new, the new secret hidden type. I knew they was going to add another type. They never only add one type. Um kind of disappointed that we didn't get any Boltman reveals, but since they're bringing back every other past type, I'm thinking Boltman may be there. Maybe even Puffman, if you're going to stretch it a bit. But although we had no signs of any mushrooms, but we did get to see Arm and Cannon Beetles, and Mamudas are so, for some reason fuzzy. I thought they were made of a stone like uh, crevice. Maybe they are fuzzy. Maybe we saw them all wrong. Um, but we haven't seen Mamudas since 2004. We haven't seen arm armored cannon beetles since 2001. Um, and I we get the train Ochi. I wonder if we're gonna like find any remains of people. Although that might be too dark for a Pikmin game. I wonder if we're gonna fight a person. <laughs> um. Like, it's very clearly, this is very clearly Earth. Um, and, I, and I love this. The lore is going to expand. I wonder if, like, the the glowing Pikmin are going to, um, like, they look, they look like the, like, the ghost Pikmin, um, um, what's, what's the word, um, um, concept they look like the glowing pikmin con like the ghost pikmin concept um like almost exactly just with like a different color change or maybe a different flower um i wonder if like how i wonder if um we're gonna see something like the green pikmin um i can't i can't wait to um see this uh see all these games um i'm just gonna see if the demo is free because if it is i'm 100 percent gonna be playing it um another thing another thing is um that ollie men i'm calling it ollie men because like wearing the same outfit as olimar just with red face hair kind of looks like a mix of that brown pigman concept design and um you know, all amen slash all Amar. Um, and if people are right and the green dog is Bulby, I think all Amar dies. I think, I think he died. I think this is like based, the things is inspired by the bad ending. I think all Amar is probably going to be dead. That or someone else died. Because this only happens if you die and the Pikmin take you to the onion and like you turn into like a Pikmin instead of like just pellets. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and like they're bringing back like a f some um, actual um, official real life brands like the Game Boy. Um, don't forget from that leaks the fidget spinner. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to turn that into, like, a fan or something, or, like, a, or whatever, because, like, it said that they're going to use, like, treasure to upgrade the ship. 
kind of similar to how they use some treasures to upgrade the ship in Pikmin 3. I think Pikmin 4 is going to be like my favorite game. I hope they bring back the wraiths because they've terrified me and it would add a lot to like those theories and I really love the Umibuzu theory. Um, which is basically the Umibuzu has been slash the wraiths have been following Olimar since he first crash landed. I think that would be amazing. Um, it also makes sense why everyone keeps crashing all of a sudden because like the rescue corps they're supposed to know because I guess because they rescue people I'm s- I, I assume they know how to uh, you know not crash. Um, what I'm still like curious about is like do do the bulby dogs just like not have lungs? Do they not breathe, or do they breathe in a different way? Because it's like they they come from Hokate, and Hokatations don't breathe oxygen. Like, I assume they breathe, like, carbon, di- carbon dioxide or something. Or whatever. Maybe even carbon monoxide. Um, but, like, they don't breathe oxygen. Oxygen is deadly to them. So how are the bulby dogs, like, thriving? Are they just not from Hokate? Were they just... Are they invasive species or something? Um, I'm... I can't... I can't wait to see all men and Ultra HD from Pikmin 1, because I'm going to, yeah, I really want to play those games. I wonder if they're going to fix the bridge glitch in the first one. Um. Oh my, <laughs> if this still feels kind of unreal, like, am I dreaming? Um. I'm just really happy, even if I don't really show it. So, uh, I'm going to be playing the Pikmin 4 demo, and I'm going to be seeing how I can get Pikmin 1 and 2 for the Switch. Um, this feels like a dream come true. Like, if you are a veteran Pikmin fan, you know this feeling. Which is like, everyone making jokes about, oh, Pikmin 4 is never coming out. Oh, HD release, ha. Um... But actually seeing it fills me with so much joy. Um, I am currently rocking back and forth from how much joy I'm having. I hope they release more plushies. Um, I really love Pikmin plushies. I have so many. Um, And um, catch you there day one, really. Um... I hope all the, all the really like classic veteran famous Pikmin Let's Players like Chuck Conroy, um, really catch on to this. Like I wonder want to see more Pikmin Let's Play videos. Um, yeah, that, that's all. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't know. Share this with your friends. Share this with your mom. If you shared this with your mom, tell her I said hi and subscribe to my content. <laughs> Follow my Twitter. It's going to be in my, like, begin me in the description. Um, yeah, that's all. Bye.